What's up everyone, it's your boy Nav and welcome to another aviation video. Now we're all excited for the 797 right? Well this is Boeing's new middle of the market airplane, or at least this is what the concept looks like in 2018. And this picture is the first complete look at Boeing's NMA and it gives us an insight into how Boeing, which has shared very few details about the 797, is looking to design the plane. However, I must stress that it's highly unlikely that this will be the final form of the 797, but it does hint at some of Boeing's efficiency traits for the next plane. Now, the expected arrival of the 797 is set to be around 2025. First with the base model, the 797-6X and the 797-7X two years later, which was told from people inside of Boeing. The new plane will have elements adapted from existing aircraft, such as the 737 MAX tail cone, the larger 787 size cabin windows and the 777 style windscreen. The door arrangement matches that of Boeing's last small twin, the 767-200, which very strongly suggests a twin aisle design. But under the wing, the engines illustrate Boeing's development work on a shorter in-depth design to increase fuel efficiency. Comparing the plane's familiar designs, you will be able to tell the difference between the 797 and the 787. Now this rendering was actually shown before, be a blurred out version at the Paris Air Show in 2017. The longer 797-7X, with its additional middle exit door, was part of the family lineup shown between the 737 MAX and the 787 Dreamliner. But the question has to be asked, why is this rendering somewhat inconclusive here in 2018? While it shows the direction Boeing is headed, history has shown that the first images of a new design ever make it to the final product. Boeing and Airbus frequently use drawings to allow discussions with customers, rather than the risk of showing their designs to their competitors. Now with many customers interested in the 797, I can see the new plane literally walking all over the A321neo LR, which has a few years to penetrate the market before the arrival of the 797. It has the Dreamliner look to it with the shape of the fuselage and the wings. You can basically think of it as the smaller brother of the 787-8. Now the majority of Boeing 757s and 767s that are still flying were built during the 1990s and production for these planes stopped in 2001. So by 2025 most of the remaining 757s and 767s will be due for replacement if they haven't already been retired. This urgent replacement demand means that if Boeing starts selling the 797 this year, it could get a huge number of launch orders. Many airlines simply won't have the luxury of waiting for the new plane to prove itself before placing an order. As always, let me know what your thoughts on this are guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.